Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and again I'm playing with some of Dina's new release. This is the fabulous um, art deck that Dina has released this time with these brilliant cards in. Um, perfect for inspiration, for colour, palette inspiration, for using the word as a starting point or even some of the imagery and marks on there. Um, one of those great things to have at your fingertips for helping you get started on those days where your mojo is um, on holiday. <laughs> so I've grabbed this card and um, are you going to know why I've grabbed it? Of course, it's got rainbow colours on it. And I thought, OK, I'm going to start with my usual sort of rainbow swipe of colours, pull those across my page and use that as my starting point. So what I'm doing here is going to take lots of the elements that I can see on this card and um, the word is going to be the inspiration for my quote and I'm going to add things onto my page that match with the things that Dina's put on her um, card from the deck. So this piece of collage paper is from the flying things with these little um, swallow type birds on so I'm going to stick those down using some um, gel medium from Dina Wakeley um, just adding a few pieces in here and there. Um, sometimes it's great to put this in first, sometimes it's a bit of an afterthought for me. As you know, I often build my layers using the stencils and sometimes I think, oh, well, hang on, I'll just pop a bit of collage paper on there. So do that as a sort of, um, not really my first thing to add onto my page, but it, it still works because I'm going to add my stenciling over it, which will then help it incorporate into the uh, colours and layers of my page. So I'm just um, kind of breaking up the background that I've created by just adding a few pieces onto my page. Um, not really overthinking, but I guess the only thing that I am bearing in mind is, does it feel balanced? Then I'm grabbing this, um, is it called Triangle Fence stencil? The new one from Dina. I'm using a bit of white paint through that. I'm just going to pull that over some of that collage paper and you can see that pushes that into the background it's also helping to push those colors into the background as well making them less dominant on the page too so i'm kind of really liking how this is coming together so this is the stamp set called foam doodles i love this sort of botanical stamp that's on there and i'm using some black archival ink to stamp that onto my page i'm going to use it to kind of draw the eye into the center of the page where i plan to have a little figure um, and uh, I just love using these kind of leafy stems on my page as well. Um, I think, I don't know, I love the garden and I love greenery and plants and flowers. That must be why. Along with those bright colours, um, we are often just drawn to the things that we really love, aren't we? So, yeah, that's probably what it is. So then I was like, oh, I've got an even number of stamped images and that feels a bit weird. So I need to put another one on. And the obvious place for that was up in that right hand corner. And that for me feels a lot better. Then I decided um, I wanted to add another colour onto my page. So I'm using olive. I don't often pick it up, but when I do, I kind of think, why don't I use this more? It's a really pretty colour. And I'm just painting that onto the leaves um, just to bring another pop of colour onto the page. Uh, you know me, sometimes it's like more is definitely better. <laughs> then I'm using magenta and I'm using one of the coaster stencils. Just again adding another layer of pattern and marks um, and colour onto this page. Then I decided I would grab the neon paints and just use them to brighten some of those colours. So I'm just adding a bit onto the page and then just kind of smudging it in with my finger. You can see it brings a really nice kind of glow to the page. Um, this is a really nice way to kind of make it look like there is a bit of sun shining on your page. It brings a bit more warmth to the colours as well. I mean, look how that's brightened that yellow that I used in my rainbow um, swipe. Really pretty. Then this is stoked again. I'm just doing the same here. I'm just going to pull a little bit through where the magenta is. So it just brightens that and lifts it. And then I think I also grab the purple, which is, I think, is that called Radical? No, it's called Bodacious. And just pop a bit of that on the page as well. 
Um, this is a fun thing to kind of play with and just see the difference that these can make to your layers when you bring that extra pop of colour. Liking how that's coming together. There is something very nice about finger painting as well, isn't there? Then this is the um, face stamp that's in the Foam Doodle stamp set, um, the bigger one of the two. And um, I'm going to use that as my kind of focal point. So in a sense, these um, leafy stems are pointing towards the figure, drawing the eye in. I've stamped it onto white card. My thinking here is that I'm going to give this little figure a body type of shape. And I'm going to use the type ledgers to create that. So I'm just cutting it out. You can see I've given it a bit more body than it has on the stamp. And then I'm just cutting out a piece of the type ledger that's going to go over the top. And I'm just going to shape it so it kind of fits over the body, stick it together and pop it onto my page. Then I'm just using the Stabilo All Pencil and I'm just darkening up some of those lines on the face. Um, I'm not brilliant at stamping. Um, I never seem to get um, a particularly good image stamped with um, ink pads. So quite often this is something that I will do is just to pull a bit, bit more uh, depth to the stamping image. And also because I've added that body shape on, I'm just outlining that too. Um, just to make it feel a bit more part of what's going on and I've given the cheeks a bit of colour so I am literally just drawing over the lines that are already there and then I thought I've just got to use these leaves I want to stamp them onto the body so that's exactly what I did it's actually stamped quite well look at that for me that's quite amazing <laughs> And then I'm adding some white circles just to start to bring a little bit of contrast. So I've got some white um, from the figure that I've added and I want to kind of marry that up with the white stenciling. And um, yeah, it just helps to pull that together. Then, of course, I've got a little bit of white left over. So what do you do? You add some splatters, you know. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? So I'm just adding those using my um, tiny fan brush. Then that gets a really good dry and then I'm going in with my quote. So my quote is linked to the word that is on the card. I think the word on the card is genuine. Um, so what I did was just searched for a quote that had the word genuine in it and one that kind of spoke to me. And I decided I would try really hard to write a bit smaller. I quite often write my quotes very, very big on my page. And I think that's because quite often they are um, one of the most important things on the page is the words, because that's how I'm um, working through stuff or dealing with things. Um, and so writing those things quite large is um, something that I don't always realise I've done until after. Um, but this time I knew I had quite a lot of words to fit in, so I wanted to try really hard and write a little bit smaller for once and I think I managed it. So it's ended up feeling like quite a busy page but I really liked it because it had those colours, it reflected those elements from Dina's um, media art card and um, it was a really fun way to create. So using that as a starting point um, of inspiration was really really useful. So um, I think you guys are going to love these cards when you get hold of them. Um, I think they'll probably provide you with lots of ideas of ways that you can um, use them in your own art journaling. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again soon.